Hey guys, Tracy here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create an opt-in box like you see here on the screen that you can put on your own personal blog so that you can start uh, collecting leads from visitors who visit your site. You know, if you're going to be driving a lot of traffic to your blog, it's good to make sure you're monetizing that traffic in some way and then creating a list is a great way to do that. So this is going to be a really super simple tutorial and as long as you have Aweber and a WordPress blog, then you're good to go. Okay, so here we are in the back office of Aweber. And all we've done so far is just simply clicked on Web Forms up top here. Go into this tab. And when you click it, it'll bring you to this page you're seeing right now. And just be sure up top here that you're on the list that you want to create the form for which means where do you want the leads to be sent. If you have a certain follow-up campaign that you want to be sent to these leads, make sure you're under the right list up here. I know I've made opt-ins before and didn't even realize I was on the wrong list, so that's just something to check before you go ahead any further. Okay, and then once you do that, you're just going to go ahead and click Create a New Web Form. And you're going to see that this is the default one that usually pops up, and there's a ton of different templates that you can choose from. Like if you literally click show more, you'll see all the different categories. So you can do it based on the theme of your blog or based on, you know, what you're going to be giving away or what your incentive is for the opt-in. Um, whatever you want, just go ahead and choose a template. And in this case, I'm just going to leave it on the one that it's on right now since this is just a quick little demo. And once you choose your template, you notice there's a header field, there's the fields for, you know, the personal information, name, email. If you want any additional categories, you're just going to you just simply go up here and you'll see there's phone number, which if you click it, it adds it into the opt-in box. So you can choose whatever you want to add over here. And I've noticed that you you tend to get higher conversions more opt-ins if you just keep it simple with name and email or even just email you know people are more likely to opt in and see what you're you know what you're offering so we're just gonna leave that like that okay and now so below the, fi the, the fields you have here you'll see the submit button and most of the templates have different ones that it comes with um, but what I tend to do is use one of my own images. I think it, you know, it just looks a little bit better, looks a little bit more professional. So what I'm going to do is show you really quick if you want to add your own submit button. Like I'll go back and show you the one on our blog. These kind of instant access buttons, you know, that you can draw more attention to. You know, it stands out. I think it stands out a little bit more than the default submit button. So if you want to add something like this, this took me a little while to figure out. I didn't, for a while, I was just doing the generic ones because I didn't even notice where I could change it. But I'll just show you real quick how you can do that. When you click on the, the form button for the submit, you'll notice up here there's a little section called advanced. If you hit that down, right here where it says button image, all you need to do is put in the URL to an image that you already have hosted. So in my case, what I do is I'll take the image from my computer and I'll simply just upload it to our WordPress. Okay, so here we are in the on the dashboard of our WordPress site. And to host an image that we can use for Aweber, all we need to do is go over to here and click Media. And then you're just going to click Add New. And you're simply going to select File and look for the image that you want to use for your form. Since we already have ours on here, I'm just going to click out of here. And once you uploaded it, it's going to end up in your media library. So here's just some of the ones we've created. But for this example, here's, here's the button we use on this most recent form. And all you need to do is, down here, you'll see File URL. Just simply copy it all. And then you're going to go back into Aweber and copy that into 
the form. Okay, so once you're back in Aweber, like I said, all you need to do is go down and click on what this, where the submit button is right now. Make sure you have the advanced tab pulled down and just simply paste that URL into the file and there you go. It'll pop up and that now is your uh, submit button. So when someone clicks that, it will send them to wherever it is you're directing them. And so you'll just go ahead and put in whatever header, you know, whatever you're trying to promote. You just type it in here, you know, free video shows. Just whatever you want, make it, you know, whatever font you want, whatever size. Oops. Okay, so now that you have your header done, you've chosen the fields that you want people to fill in and you've uh, created your custom submit button. Another thing you can do is you're able to remove any parts of this that you don't want. So if you want to make this box a little smaller, you can simply go down here to where it says edit footer and just X out of anything you don't want. You know, if you don't want this, you can remove that too. I like to keep it. I mean, it just gives the message that you're not going to spam people. So I think it's something good to leave on, but you're free to remove or add whatever um, parts you want or don't want. And should you remove something that you didn't want to remove that you do accidentally, you just have to go up here. Like say I didn't want to remove that footer. I'll just go up here and click footer and it'll bring it right back. You'll see that now that space is back here. But I like to remove that extra space if I'm not using it just so I can take up a little less room on my blog. So once you have an opt-in box that you're proud of, that you like, that you want to put on your blog, all you need to do now is click Save Web Form and then go to Step 2. Okay, and then up here you can put any name that's going to help you remember what that form is being used for. So I'll just do Blog Opt-in 2 since we already did another one today. And here, the thank you page, this is where you would put a custom URL. If you want to send people somewhere once they opt in, like say you're promoting a free video, all you're going to do is click custom page and put your URL right in here. So if you're sending to a video, just put the link to that video in here. So once they fill in their information, they'll be added to your list and sent to this video. Okay, and then you're just going to click save web form again and go to step three. Here is where you're going to get the code to install it on your WordPress blog. So all you're going to do is click I will install my form. You want the raw HTML version and you're simply going to highlight it all and click copy. And now we're going to head over to the blog to import it in. Okay, so here we are back on the dashboard of our WordPress blog. And now that we have the HTML code copied from Aweber, all we need to do now is paste that in so it'll show up on our blog. So to do that, all you need to do is go over here to Appearance, click down to Widgets, and it's going to pull up the widgets that usually go on the side of your blog. And so to use the HTML code, all you have to do is click on this text box, hold the mouse down and drag it over to your widget area. And we're just going to paste in the code we got from Aweber and click save. Now once the code is posted in the text box and saved, all we have to do now is go to our blog and check to make sure that everything worked. So here we are back on our blog and as you can see, you don't see the opt-in box we just created. So we're going to go ahead and click refresh. And there it is. So as you can see, it's really simple to create your own custom opt-in boxes. You know, you can test it out, do some split testing, try some different colors, different fonts, different images, do whatever you need to do and, you know, have fun with it. It's, it's something that, you know, you can get creative with and that you can really used to 
create a list pretty quickly, especially if you've been driving traffic to your blog, you really don't want to be missing out on an opportunity to capture leads. So, you know, go have some fun with this and let me know what you thought. And I'll see you on the next video.